Hello Pisces, how are you doing? And cross watchers, welcome to my channel. I am T. Erica Love. I am here to bring you all some insights on uh, what's going on in your situations when it comes to love here, okay? Uh, Pisces and cross watchers, please know that these messages may or may not resonate with every Pisces. Um, in your situation in love, okay? If you find that these messages does not resonate at all, you can check your moon, rising, and Venus, or even cross-watch. There you may find messages that resonate, okay? Alright, so we're going to see what's going on with you all for the month of April. In love here uh, for Pisces. Pisces and their person. Let's see. Who are you all, Pisces, in this connection? All right. All right, Pisces, in this connection for the month of April. Tell me about this, Pisces, for the month of April. All right. You got a uh, communicator. And you got the Shadow King here, okay? So, Pisces, it could be some things going on um, deep down, uh, maybe within the crevice, crevices of you um, that you are needed to shed light upon, maybe needed to heal from here. Um, could have a dark side, all right? And with this communicator, uh, Pisces, you all could be talkative here. Um something for yeah you all could be very talkative here I like to communicate all right you got the Aries here um, you all could have Aries in your chart could be a Pisces Aries cusper all right or it could be in this Aries energy um, going after what you are at all cost here okay all right, Pisces, and you got the extrovert here, all right? So you all are all out there for the month of April. Um, maybe talking a lot. Um, could be going out to parties. Um, hanging out. Just letting it all hang loose, all right? And you got the old soul here, Pisces, okay? So you all um, could be a little younger with an old soul or could have an old soul here, all right? All right, so tell me about your person, Pisces, for the month of April. All right, Pisces, love interest, your person here for the month of April. Um, you got beauty here. Um, so you could be dealing with someone who you feel is very, very, very beautiful. Um, your person could be indeed very beautiful here. Um, you know, your person could get a lot of attention. A lot of attention here. You got chemistry here, all right? Um, so this person that you're dealing with, they have... They feel a lot of chemistry here towards you, okay, Pisces, all right? You got Medusa here. So there could be some things that um, this is everything Medusa touches turns to like sloth and um, it's not too good here, all right? So uh, you could be dealing with someone who maybe you want to watch their intentions, okay? All right, you got a player, okay, Pisces. So you could be dealing with a player, uh, someone who likes to play, someone who is all in it when it comes to um, the games, being flirtatious here, okay. And you got a victim here, all right. So you could be dealing with someone who has been hurt in past relationships, uh, someone who is a victim here, someone who is also... Um, needing to heal things, all right, if they're still feeling like um, a victim here, okay? All right, let's get some messages here. Pisces, in this connection. Where's the month of April? All right. 
got sacred sexuality so this connection has the potential for sacred tantric alchemy here so you could feel um uh, connected to your person maybe uh, very have this intense sexual connection here with your person okay or you could be feeling this uh, Pisces for the month of April you got soul imprints here so Pisces there are some unresolved wounds karmic patterns and inheritances that are affecting this situation could be affecting you here all right um, you got stalemate here. So, Pisces, this is a stalemate situation. Maybe this is you, Pisces, that need to take decisive action here. All right. You got parasitic symbiotic. One party benefits while the, other, while the other is depleted. Energy, support, and empathy are not equal. The give and take needs to become balanced. Okay. Um... So Pisces, you could be giving too much in this connection here, or you could be holding back maybe and not giving enough here. All right. All right, for your person here, Pisces. All right, got true love here. This is a divine connection here. Um, so this could be your true love, Pisces. Your person could feel like that you are their true love here. All right. Let's see. Let's keep going. Uh, you got betrayal here. So this is that victim. Um, your person could feel betrayed here. Um, but you're needing to trust this part of your journey. Understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity. All right. So, um, yes, we have to heal some things here. Okay. Could be why this Medusa energy is here. Um, your person could be feeling betrayed maybe by you or past, um, people here all right got take a chance so your person is needing to take a chance um they can't grow in their comfort zone stepping into the unknown is trust in the universe go for it okay so um this is about um you need to take the leap of faith here all right got unexpected so there are some unexpected people events message messages messages travel or situations um, that will occur for the month of April here um, with your person okay if you're cross watching it's you um, okay if you're the one dealing with the Pisces all right uh, you know put the messages where they go all right you got telepathy so this connection has a strong empathic and telepathic soul bond here so this uh, is a very strong it's a spiritual connection here between you two. All right. All right. Let's get the energy here of the connection for the month of April. Overall energies of this connection for Pisces and the person for the month of April in love. Okay, have increase in finances here. So um, you are going to expect increase in finances related to your own efforts. Uh, maybe you and your person for the month of April will be focusing on increasing your finances here. Okay, um, got this mature man. This could be you or your person. This is someone who is possibly dark haired, who is down to earth, easy going, and has a great sense of humor. Um, this mature man loves to socialize and is creative here. All right. Got the guardian angel. You all could be praying maybe um, about the situation in regards to your finances. Could be in regards to um, 
this mature person, this mature man, masculine energy here. Um, your prayers are being answered in a perfect way. Everything is happening exactly as it should for the highest good of everyone concerned here. So just know that, okay? Um, you got deception here. So someone is, someone or something is not, not quite what it seems. Your perception of the person or situation could be off track. Um, or things are deliberately being hidden from you. So uh, someone could not be being honest in, in this connection here or withholding some type of information. Not solid foundation here. Um, so you all could be moving towards building a more solid foundation here. You need to dig deep and acknowledge your fears. Get beyond them before starting to build your dreams. All right. So, um, can't move forward if you're there's some fears here all right create the solid foundation needed to support your success here um so in order to create this solid foundation uh someone is needed to be honest or um yeah need to be honest here okay um trust and believe that your prayers are being answered uh could be this mature man or prayers could be in regards to this mature masculine energy um you both could be moving on moving towards increasing your finances there will be an increase in your finances for the month of april here okay for some of you all all right so let's see what's going on here y'all got some new decks coming all right let's see what's going on here <laughs> Situation between Pisces and your person for the month of April in love. All right, so um, got the Eight of Swords energy here. Um, there's some mental anguish here, um, some fear and anxiety here. Okay, could be in regards to your thoughts. Clarify this Eight of Swords. Got the Emperor. Um, so this is. All right, this emperor, or it could be an Aries. Some of you all could be dealing with the Aries, or this person has fire in their chart here. If you're cross watching, um, if you're cross watching, okay. But this emperor could be uh, feeling a lot of anxiety, um, feeling a lot of fear here, um, in regards to maybe this leadership role they have to play, uh, maybe, um. If you're dealing with a person that has children here, maybe um, what is going on in the family life is causing a lot of anxiety, a lot of uh, fear, causing them to feel mentally entrapped here. Or it could be someone in the situation who is feeling uh, mentally entrapped here, who is needing to uh, channel their thoughts to have more positive um, thoughts here. Okay? Action. Okay, actually here got the King of Swords here. All right. Um, so someone is going to stand in their power. You're going to be uh, more ambitious. Clarifying this. All right. When it comes to this illusions here, this is clarified by the Seven of Cups. So um, somebody in this connection, one of you all are going to stand in your power uh, feel very ambitious maybe come up with a clear decise decision when it comes to the different choices that you're having when it comes to you um, being in an illusion um, when it comes to your love life here okay outcome got devil energy here so there's some addictions uh, temptations all right um okay so there are some addictions some type of temptations when it comes to building this this um, family life that you're trying to build here when it comes to the long-term plans and goals that you're trying to make um, you're needing to clear out the addictions here uh, maybe you are your person okay all right, because you could be taking 
putting on, uh, taking on too much. Sorry, yeah. Uh, we got the Ten of Wands. So this is about you and your person needing to put burdens down. Um, could be a lot going on. You could be fit feeling physically overwhelmed here uh you are your person for the month of april and just needing to you know um see the light at the end of the tunnel here okay let's read the energies here of the cards um we got sagittarius virgo capricorn scorpio energy here at the aries and uh, Gemini energy here, okay? All right, let's get some clarification on the situation at your outcome. Okay, so in regards to your burdens, in regards to all the stuff that you're carrying here, um, you need to lay them down so you can move towards building uh you know more healthy wealthy life here okay um we're focused on that all right um clear out the addictions and the temptations that you're having you or your person um you needed to come out of this illusion you could be uh, still confused there's a lot of choices could have uh, many different people that you're dealing with here and you need to stand in your power be very ambitious here um, maybe not be so stubborn here okay move towards this leadership role or this is what you're leaning towards and this could be causing you to feel um, a lot of anxiety here all right or you could be feeling a lot of anxiety because of a lot of choices and addictions here. Um, and this could not be what you're praying for when it comes to um, your long-term goals. This solid foundation that you want to build here with your person um, could be becoming a bit too much. Alright? Alright. Clarifying. All right, you got come to me here. So, uh, someone in this connection could be a bit shy here. Could be afraid to open up and express. Uh, wait, let me let me shuffle. Okay, oh, they keep coming up. They just keep. All right. So, uh, situation. We try it again. Situation. You got release and let go. All right. So, could be the emperor here. Um, Whichever one of you all is in this connection is holding on to something that you're needed to release and let go of. Oh my goodness. Goodness. Okay, it could be rumors here. It could be things that have been said. Um, you could be listening to the rumors. Don't listen or don't spread any rumors here. All right. Clarify the action. There are some hurtful words that has been said maybe um, to you or coming from you here all right and it could be in regards to um, this connection maybe one of you has spoke sp have spoken or will uh, me expressing how um, this confusion that is here is causing um, maybe pain is causing you to be unsure on whether this connection can weather out the storm here. All right. Can I find an outcome? You got unclear here. So someone is still unclear in this connection. Still unable to see the truth here. All right. Really. <laughs> you got the gate is open. Take the leap of faith and walk through it. Um, and then the gate is closed here. So this someone is unclear on whether or not to open up allow to take the sleep of faith or to um, close up and continue to work on putting burdens down here all right so you needed to retreat um, it's time to walk away and go find yourself whether this is you or your person okay um, or that's what you will be doing okay let's get some messages of love
So release and let go of rumors. Those are causing you to feel hurt here. Um, causing some pain here. Causing you to be unclear on whether or not you and this person can weather out this storm. Um, there's some healing and that needs to take place and some um, decisions that needs to be made here. Alright. Okay. Got intuition. So you already know the answer you seek. Use your intuition here. Alright. Got new love. So a new love or a recommitment to love is developing here. Alright. Could be this recommitment to love that is developing because somebody wants a second chance. Um, this relationship deserves a second chance. Okay. Alright. Got fate here. So this is a distant partnership. Alright. Because this is a strong uh, spiritual connection that I'm feeling between you two here. Alright. Just got outside influences. Um, your thoughts here. Things you're choosing to do. You are your person that is causing um, stagnation here within this connection. Could be some type of the, the addictions here. Alright. For some, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Oh, I already said that. Okay, but an addiction is affecting this relationship. Alright, so you want to make sure that, um, that we stand fast, you know, that we don't allow the addictions to interfere with us moving forward. Okay, we're going to get a healing message for the viewer here. Alright, I'm going to search for your You all got awakening here okay so expansion you have been receiving messages that it's time for your soul to expand beyond the 3d vision you are not you are an old soul which came up again here um that is here to do many great things you have come to realize that through um doing this hard work and merging with your higher self All right. Sorry, y'all. Um, there's no going back, so enjoy this new way of being by having acceptance and inner peace moving forward here. So one of you all in this connection is going through an awakening here. All right. That's that intuition. Okay. So um, you have come to realize this through doing hard work and merging with your higher self. Okay. So there's no going back. Um um so allow this awakening um and could be what is off balance here within this connection okay because one of you are going through an awakening all right all right um those have been your messages here pisces cross watchers um if these i hope that these messages will be helpful if they are helpful will be helpful if it resonated please give me a thumbs up I like that is thumbs up like subscribe share comment I would greatly appreciate it I salute the divinity in you all I am sending you all much love much light much positivity here um, and I see y'all next time okay thank you bye